Hello you, beautiful people. I am so excited about today's video. I feel like I say that I'm so excited about every video I film, but I do. I'm excited about this one because we are talking Adobe Dimension and Adobe Capture. We don't talk about those two a lot, so that's exciting. In today's video, you are going to learn how to use Adobe Capture to create your own material to then use into Adobe Dimension. I am using Adobe Dimension to bring my branding design to life in 3D or making scene and all of that. And I love being able to bring my own material, my own textures into my scene, into my designs. And I wanted to show it to you for you to do the same in your next project. All right, don't forget to subscribe to my channel right now. Give me a thumbs up at the end of this video if you learned something today. On this channel, we're talking graphic design, branding, and all apps-related graphic design things. So if you're into this, it's your time to subscribe right now. It's free, don't forget that. Okay, now we can start with this video. What you will need, obviously, it's your computer and download Adobe Dimension. Adobe Capture is a free app so you can download it and let's get started I'm going to show you what I do so first I'm opening the app capture and I take pictures of things that I want texture of it can be anything you think of it can be your wall it can be the floor it can be something inside like an object like I'm looking at my purse right now. Any material you can think of, take a picture of it. All right, so here you have uh, Adobe Capture. So I'm going to click on it. It's going to open and it's going to go right away into my materials because this is the last thing I did. But there is basically my library and discover and learn and all of that. And here are all of the assets that I can do. So we already made uh, about the colors, looks, patterns, brushes, it's all the things that you can do, but we're going to focus on materials today so other materials so I'm gonna click on it and I've already made one material with my dog bed so that is the material we can use one of them I also take my coffee table in picture as well as my rug so I am going to show you what you need to do once you took the picture of whatever and you're going to click on image and select images from your camera roll so and so here said oh look here is a new material we can use okay and we can see on other kind of form how it's gonna look we can say okay this is what we want and we're going to click on the check button and here we can adjust some settings so for example you can add some roughness to it so it's going to rough the material i'm going to add some roughness then you can make the detail less important more details i like details you can add a metallic effect to it a little bit more metallic we love it we can increase or decrease the intensity CD. All right, like this sounds pretty good. Can so use frequency and you can also add some repeat. And I'm going to add some repeat because I really like the look of that. So that's perfect. You can blend the edges. Once you're ready and that you like your material, you can save it and you can name it. I'm going to name I'm going to name it coffee table. This coffee table is saved to my library now beside my dog thing and this one. Okay, now let me do the same for the rug. So we're going back to library camera. Wow, look at this. That is awesome. That is the texture I'm using. Oh, I'm going to say, okay, that's great. Here's my texture again. Pretty cool. I'm going to take off a little bit of roughness, bring the details down. Yeah, okay. Now I'm going to add some metallic effect to it just a little bit. Uh, I don't know if I want to repeat. I think I like it this way. I think it's ready. So we're going to save it. I'm going to call it rug and done and save. So now in two Adobe Capture, we have all materials. So we are in all assets now. But if I go into materials, it's going to be the same. This is all the materials that we created. And they are all into our library over here. So now if we go into Adobe Creative Cloud, our app into our desktop so i'm going to open it over here into my library here we are so we have rug dog and coffee table 
So now we're going to open Dimension over here and we're going to use them and I'm going to show you how. We don't need Adobe Capture anymore. Let's open Adobe Dimension. I don't know if you are familiar with Adobe Dimension. If you are not, this is super easy to use. It sounds really complicated when we are talking about 3D and making scene and all of that. I personally never use Substance 3D. It sounds really, really cool. So anyways, let's create new. So when you create new, it's going to create a new scene for you and you will be into starter assets on the top over here. Let me make this a little bit bigger for us to understand. And so we are going to choose one of the models. They have so many models, you guys, and you can even find other models into Adobe Stock. So let's just find something easy. We're going to use a sphere, so you're going to click on it and it's going to appear here. I don't want to make a big, huge uh, tutorial on this if you do need a tutorial on Adobe Mansion please let me know but I'm sure there's tons of them out there on YouTube so uh, you can rotate your ball put it wherever you want in your scene you can move it far away you can also put it a little bit up in the scene making float so yeah there's a lot of things that you can do after you'll be able to change the lightning and all of that for you to be able to see uh, we're going to go into environment and I'm going to quick change the background into a color it's not that white picture of your choice so that's also possible okay so i'm going to click back on my sphere and what we want is to play with materials so here are the models basic shapes here are your adobe standard materials so if you click on them you'll be able to use the leather one the gelatin vintage i don't know what it is one is vintage turn the ball and see how it looks that's pretty dope and if you click here on the actions that's your materials and you can change the colors uh, of it you can add to your library colors if you want to change it or uh, they use an image you can also change that image if you'd like that's pretty cool but we want to use our own material this is all this is all this video is about so here into starter assets over there. You can click on it and go into your libraries. You go into your libraries. You can then go into your folder, name, materials. But here we are, we have our library. So I'm going to click on my sphere. I can choose any of the material that I create in an Adobe Capture. So let's do the dog one. Now I click on it and here my dog bed is now a material and that's a edge. So we could have blend that into Adobe Capture. We did not. Then let's see our coffee table look like. Ooh, we forgot to smooch, smooth the edge, you guess, but that looks pretty cool. Let me show you how that will look on something else. So if I go into starter assets, I'm going to delete my sphere and I'm going to add a food pouch. Okay. So here's my food pouch and I'm going to add my material to it. So I'm going to go into libraries and find my coffee table and this is how it looks. So I'm going to go into food pouch. This is how oh, rug. Ooh, look at this. It looks like a snake. So there's a, like a um, plastic kind of look to it. This is something you can change as well. So that's really nice. Let's say I want a backpack. Oh, let's use this and let's add, look at this. <laughs> that is so fun that is so so fun so yeah this is how you add your own material to a 3d object uh, using adobe capture thank you again for watching until the end if you like this video and you learned something today please don't forget to subscribe and i will see you in the next video until next time take care